Where would you rather be? Anywhere? Anywhere but here? What about if you were between sun and moon, stranded on some alien shore, running at the speed of love, cutting to the chase to find nobody's hero, but you're sticking it out because you are so gosh darn animated that the double agent in you comes out and shows your true cold fire. You go, eh, leave that thing alone because I'm running for everyday glory. Boom. That's it. It's called. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Counter what was that? Parts. That last part was yeah, counter, part. counter counter culture. Yeah, counterparts. It was oh, counterparts. counterparts. Yeah, counterparts. That was good. It seems like you did all the songs from that. Uh, you, yeah, you did all the song titles. Um, that's, that's pretty. Impressive. I am. I am a Rush fan. I have heard a Rush that. Fan. I've it's heard one of that. Tim's many talents is he can make stories out of song titles Words. from albums. Yeah. From yes, yes, there it was for counterparts. Our fourth, fourth, fifth album that we're covering. Sure. Yeah, whatever you say. So, man. what was I you? I what, didn't you have something uh, in your hand, uh, sort of a <laughs> earlier, t- sort of a, a demonstration yeah. of the album. Um, I I couldn't decide to whether to use it for the this counterparts album preview or save it for animate. But I'm I'm just I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to show it. Yeah, it's related to the album cover, and then maybe I'll explain more. Oh. Yeah, I'll explain more. What are you talking about anime? That was a great concert. Um, According to my friend Jay, Counterpart is his fifth favorite album. According to my friend Tim, Counterparts is his second favorite album. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and wait till you hear what his second favorite album is. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, his second favorite album is yes. Grace Under Pressure. And yes. Exactly. And Van and, Trails. Right. Yeah. And Rush. And Hold Your Fire. And the rest. And the Feedback. Rest. When we did our episode trying to decide what to which album to cover next, we were all very excited about Counterparts. Yeah. Yes. Great, great album. Our, our Rush fans, cohorts on YouTube just finished or finishing up counterparts we all have counterparts i i I rediscovered the greatness of counterparts counterparts Counterparts. Counterparts. so so gentlemen counterparts (laughs) webster's dictionary defines a counterpart (laughs) oxford as a thing that fits another perfectly i define counterpart as a part that is placed onto a counter. <laughs> Which definition is the most accurate? No one knows for sure. Oh, I think we do. But here are a few facts about the album Counterparts. Counterparts is the 15th studio album by the Canadian rock band supergroup, simply known as Rush. Now, Super I don't know if you need to give us that information. <laughs> oh, I just I, I, don't know. Okay. I'm just yes. saying, yes. and I, I just wanted to mention the super group uh, uh, part because, uh, damn, aren't they just super? It's super <laughs> group. It sounds like we're in the <laughs> 70s. I know. <laughs> we like them. So this album was released on, released on October uh, 19th, 1993. Oh, yes. There are 11 tracks on this album, all of which are perfect. Um, wait is that personal commentary or yes yes. okay no that is fact that's exactly what wikipedia says exactly uh rush (laughs) oh does it so it says on wikipedia that rush wanted a more organic approach to their songs on this album they wanted a sense of balance between spontaneity 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 thank you and uh refinement uh, Counterparts marks a continuation in the band's transition from synthesizer back to guitar-oriented yeah. music 
yes, which it was started in uh, on Pretz, Presto in ninety uh, in eighty nine. So here's an interesting part that I didn't know. It said Alex Lifeson uh, said that this was his first time since moving pictures that uh, there was a conscious decision to have guitar the guitar play a more predominant role, uh, resulting in a more satisfying album for him. He said he also constantly asked Getty Lee not to use any keyboards for the album, but Lee always brought him to the album, the studio anyway. And <laughs> it created what he quote what he said is quote unquote an immediate atmosphere. <laughs> nice. <laughs> immediate atmosphere. Nice. But it's okay. They're still friends. Uh, and so Neil's lyrics uh had a, a selection of topics such as uh, the difference between genders, uh, the anima, anima, the which is the unconscious feminine side of a man, and the animus, the unconscious masculine side of a woman, uh, which is a principle des- a, a derived from uh, psychologist Carl Jung. Basically, duality became the only unifying theme of the album, inspiring its title counterparts counterparts because yes. the males have a pp and the girls have a bj <laughs> wow was wow. not expecting that hey, wait, I'd a like second, to wait a second wait a second, wait a second. you wow. stop recording on things i say and that's not near as bad as that <laughs> i not just near I, as bad i expect it when you're talking <laughs> When you're talking, I'm hovering over the cu- the stop button. <laughs> I kind of let it go with Jay. Oh. Mistake, obviously. Sometimes you gotta just let it go. Sometimes, obviously. you know. Obviously. Then we know. Wow. It's, wow. It's, all right. okay. it's okay. It's, it's you know what? It's uh, it's life. It's 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 uh, it's perfectly natural. It's real. It's what's yourself. happening what? right now? Sorry. Well, go ahead. Unfortunately. Three, two, one, and see. Yeah. So yeah, that's all right. Thanks for that. Kind Jay. of a brief, a brief, a brief overview. But I went uh, the track list. Uh, Did you say overview? <laughs> overview. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud! Uh, the track list. Uh, hey, can we get in trouble with the FCC? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know me. Say um, FCC. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> say FCC. Yeah, you know me. Wow. Wow, we are. This just has gone off the rails off a little bit. The, if there were, if there are rails, we're not on them. Yeah, but I will tell you this: I'm really excited to uh, to dig into this album. Um, like I, said, I, I didn't know those facts about. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know what an animus was until today. I just thought it was what you pooped out of. Uh, but uh, so the we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna discuss. I believe uh, the what. Did I say something wrong? No, we, just we we have lost all control. Just, okay, he cannot he cannot wow. be the one that's really opening up the album preview anymore. I, I think okay. it was you. Um, wow. Okay. Well, I've discussed the facts about the album, including the, the facts. <laughs> the facts. You just said <laughs> a bunch of offensive. Oh, you know, obviously, we are giddy to start counterparts. Obviously, getty. hopefully yeah. that, that that's is Getty. Right oh, there. My, <laughs> that's Getty. My bad. With those black eyes. Hopefully that's yes. obvious. No, I'm just kidding. Those are not black, black eyes. eyes, like a doll's are, eyes. They're what are they? Hazel or brown? I think they're not black. Back to you, Tim. <laughs> with, with with something ser- serious. So I, w- Tim, Tim, where would you a- rather be? Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere no, right but here. here. Right here. No, this yeah. is the place. This when will so, the time be right? Tim, how excited are right you to discuss this album and why? Well, Jay, I'd like, to say, I'd, I'd like to say it five to eight minutes ago, I was extremely excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that may have changed a little bit with a um, few select. Right. I, I, I have to hear what I, I say I, about 2112. I, I am extremely Oh dear Lord! Easy. I'm extremely, Easy. extremely, extremely, extremely excited. Um, Counterparts has special memories for me. It was the first Rush concert I ever took. 
It was the first and last Rush concert I ever took my wife to. <laughs> oh, um, seriously? Oh, yeah. wow. You guys never it, went again? Was it because no. of the... Uh, she, oh, sorry. No, she... Yeah, I mean, I think she thought about going with me to the R40. Since that, you know, we figured that was going to be it. Um, but she decided graciously to not go and so I could take my son who was in Aww. eighth grade or ninth grade at the time of that concert. Nice. So that is that the was the greatest cool. gift. Nice. But um given him that's but awesome. counterparts was besides life. Was just a the songs are great, but on this one it's it's the recording. It's their mindset in how they approach the songs. I think some of these songs could have been released on Presto, could have been released on Roll of the Bones. Okay. Some of them, like just the, really? the rocking. Yeah. The, uh, yeah it could right. have been released er earlier than that. Well, I mean, yeah, they could have been, but I'm talking about this, this, this album. It's like Rush got their balls back on this. It's, it's harder. It's crunchier. It's bassier. Yeah. It's it's darker. The sound, not the theme, but the sound of okay. it. You yeah. know, uh, then roll the bones or presto. Yeah. You know, uh, to me, very uh, tenory, high pitch kind of presto yeah. and roll the bones. And not that it's bad songs on those albums because I love those songs, but. And I, I thought Getty yeah, sounded yeah. great on this too. His vocal counterparts really was just, I mean, especially when with Stick It Out. Da, 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 da. I mean, I thought that was the new Kiss single. Yeah. I could hear that. I hadn't heard that from Rush in quite some time, probably Limelight. Da, 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 da. That's why I'm saying da, some, da, of those, da, da, some of those uh, some of those licks reminded me yeah. of like earlier rush right. early rush right and it got to uh to me on the album i i love double agent double agent could have been left alone as maybe do you love double agent tim or did you just <laughs> did you just see one and and <laughs> i love double agent i love double agent okay. um, uh, it, it, it could have been a second instrumental uh i love what they did with it vocally and yes. and it's just another one of those songs where Getty had said, you know, something we got her gaga's out on, you know, just something to have some fun with. So, yeah, I I just I love. Yeah, I, I, I'm going. Unlike the last one we went through, I'm I'm not going to be depressed. No, after yeah. finishing this one, yeah. you know. And hey, the album does hit some serious topics, but mm -hmm. you know, still darker sounds. Some serious. We're talking topics. about you, nobody's hero. Sorry, no, I was I was talking about Cold Fire. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, hmm. When when Rush, I think decided, we're gonna have fun on that one. When Rush decided to take the band in a new direction, that's right, country and western. We got a new song for you called It's a Cold Fire. <laughs> Gold Fire. That's how Getty would introduce that song. Was, really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was so great because uh Neil and Alex would be playing a country riff, you know, like he would go dang 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 and Neil's just doom chink doom chink doom chink and Getty's going. Yep, got a new song for you, letting you know the new direction of the band. You guessed it, country and western. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we play both kinds, country <laughs> and western. Country and western. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, you and I talked off pod about the recording techniques with the guitar. Yes. yes. About uh, the caveman. The caveman, yes. Yeah, what did what did you tell me about that? Because I'm that intrigued. He 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 told Alex um, all those effect pedals and your ridiculous soundboards and stuff. Uh, uh not doing it. He did a Johnny Carson on him. 
Nah, no, I'm sorry, not a Johnny Carson, a yeah, George, George Bush. Which Alex got very angry at times, though. If I want some effects, I want some and effects. And Caveman said, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. It was set your mic up over here, your guitars over here, your amps there. Boom. That's the way we're doing this. So he went from guitar to amp, uh -huh. no effects. And then no they effects. stuck a mic in front of the amp to get uh -huh. that big live sound versus right. that kind of tinny, wimpy sound right. when the guitar goes straight th through the board or through a bunch of, a bunch of effects, mm -hmm. pedals or loops right. or racks, and then into the board. Yeah, Man. exactly. Yeah, because that, I mean, that's the way to capture, I'm sure Dave Grohl, Grohl I was going to say Growl, Dave, Jay's dog. I'm sure Dave Grohl would agree. That's how you capture a guitar sound. Yeah. You go into the mic, you crank it, and you, I mean, into the, into the amp, you crank it, and you stick a mic in front of it. And that's then how you, you get a guitar sound. And, and, and then when you listen to the approach on how they mic'd Neil's drum kit. Now, Neil was getting a, a, a new drum kit made for him. Pretty much on every tour after signals, you know. Now it, he didn't change the drum brand names until he switched to Ludwig. Yeah, Ludwig for Older Fire. He was still using Tama, but he was getting brand new drums made. Okay, and you would listen to a Rush album, except for maybe some tweaks here and there. You know, Neil's drums pretty much sounded the same. But when you take a listen to to the counterparts, and it's it, it's a little bit of the drums, but it's the way, and Neil was doing something different also in his playing. You hear it on Stick It Out. You hear it on Animate. His use of the bell on the ride cymbal. But how yeah, it, it, it just sounds different. You know, what it, is that? Is it something it, he was doing? Was it the brand of symbol? Was it the recording technique? No, because that really had, sticks out. The sound of the ride. Neil symbol. had not changed symbol brands yet. No, he was still playing Zildjian's. Zildjian. So and that was the combination of number one. You know, Neil nece didn't necessarily use the bell that much. Not not in those kind of patterns that we're hearing on 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 the songs from counterparts, but. You know, he was doing a thing where, like, um, on Stick It Out, the downbeat, he's hitting the bell, but he's also going to the body of the ride on the upbeat. Or vice versa, on Animate, it's upbeat on the bell, body on the downbeat. Too cheap. And so, so he's hitting that ride right. symbol's a little bigger than the crash or the splash. Right, right. But the and way he's that, hitting that it came out. That's that's that was the caveman right there too. Just the way he was going about miking everything, uh -huh. amazing, amazing. Yeah, because that's definitely one of the things that sticks out to me is you just hear that ride symbol. Yeah, yeah. And nobody yeah. uses the ride symbol like Neil does, so that's that's a very good thing. Right, right. Because yeah, he no. does extra. Oh yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, absolutely. He absolutely. really did stick it out. <laughs> uh, and a little bit of keyboards that was something i talked about on as we were finishing up vapor trails is that maybe in my opinion they could have used a little keyboards instead of the other stuff they did and i think counterparts is a great example of a little bit of keyboards filled in some spaces maybe and added to a very guitar centric a more but, guitar centric album but yeah and but what it was um and a cleaner recording well, well, what was it was mostly you know synth pads and stuff like that it was there's there's not a single song on the album that requires getty lee being behind the yeah. keyboard just some background stuff. Right. Yeah. Some foot pedal stuff, you know, trigger that pad here, bring in the strings. Yeah. Bring in the horns. 
you know, little, Sax. little things like that. Right. A saxophone. <laughs> um, a thousand saxophones. Exactly. Little, just little things to give it. Um, uh, and, but then again, you know, people might've thought, well, that's all that they did, but you know, nobody's hero. That is a little, a little orchestra that is playing. That's not keyboard stuff right there. The, it's the same guy who did the orchestrations for uh, Queen Reich's uh, Silent Lucidity. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Yes. Same guy. Same guy who did that. And I think he also did that. Uh, I can't remember the name of that Smashing Pumpkin song. Was it off of the melancholy and the infinite sadness? I, I, I don't know, but I think I, think I remember the more... video where they all look like they're dressed up in the 1920s. See, I never watched really, I never watched many videos. Yeah, so. or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Your <laughs> Billy you, Corrigan you is this, you're so... not very good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's really um, but. But yeah, interesting fact right there, which I can't wait to get. So I got a funny story to talk about on Nobody's Hero too. Oh boy, uh, I'm scared. It's making I'm me frightened. laugh right now. Oh boy, I'm probably going oh to hit the edit button. Yeah, edit no, button. like it's that's not a that thing. Bad. Right. I think it's just generally offensive. Generally offensive. Generally offensive. <laughs> Damn it, Tim! You had Damn your it, chance. Damn it, Tim! Sorry, you miss it. Okay, album cover. I think the album cover is generally offensive. Generally offensive? Generally offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's a nice blue, nice black. Like that. I like it. Blue, black, white. Yeah. Simple. It's either saying you're really gonna love this album or you're screwed. Because <laughs> of the uh, and uh, the other uh, thing I love the color. Of uh, Neil's right drum kit, oh, on, on that tour, he went to this like dark plum looking color on his drum shells. Have you ever seen the person or the site, and you can buy the miniature drum sets, and you can get just about any of Neil's kits? No. Have you seen that? Okay, I'll send that to you. It's yes, it's very cool. They're like little minute, and you can get like all of them. They have all of them, but they're really hard to play. <laughs> yes, Tim, you might have a little bit of trouble with the playing board. I, I no, I've got a shrinking machine. My oh. next door neighbor is Dr. Shrinker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> honey, I shrunk the Tim. Dr. Shrinker. Shrinker. Dr. Dr. Shrinker. Shrinker. He's a mad, mad man, man with an evil, evil mind. mind. Yeah, something like uh, that. Look it up. Look it up. Yeah. Yep, it's simple. Not, um, and I think it, I guess it shows what Jay defined earlier in the show, the counterparts, the uh, lyrics to Dr. Shrinker. Yes, the nut. The, the yin and the yang, and the bolt. so to speak. A little phallic, maybe? A little, little sexual? A little maybe. Maybe. There? Maybe, maybe a double maybe, entendre? Maybe, nudge, maybe, nudge, nudge, wink, 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 say no more? Say no more, say no more. What's it like? <laughs> 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 lyrics Damn it, to Dr. Tim. Shrinker. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. We have devolved so far. So, um, I feel as though we could uh, s just get on with the show and just uh, <laughs> yeah. perhaps uh, Jay. Well, yeah. we'll Tim, look at Doctor Sh uh, theme songs uh, from eighties yeah. kids shows, seventies. <laughs> yeah. 70s, oh wow. Yeah. Uh, any Wait, say, hang on a second. Y'all, y'all remember this as part of the lyrics blood unloads from my vein, spurts of purple, deep in red, scarlet dyed cloth can't seal the, the stream, it won't help around the neck. Apply the strap, compress the opening, twist the stick, excessive spewing. Is that for nobody's hero? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh. sorry. I swear it says it's the lyrics for well you can't that say cannot it. Dr. be are you serious Dr. Okay. Shrinker, but no. it's gotta be something else. That yeah. was a kid's show. That There's no way not right. Jay, uh, any favorite songs? Least favorite songs from the counterparts album. Least favorites? 
Favorites, um, least favorites, any that stick out or stick Well, yeah, I have some favorites. Down. I'll show for show. I have some favorites. Uh, for example, um, <laughs> example, do I love Nobody's Hero? Yeah, uh, I love Everyday Glory. Really, I love yeah. Animate. I love Stick It Out, Cut to the Chase. Between Sun and Moon, Alien Short, Speed of Love, Double Agent, uh, Cold Fire, and Leave That Thing Alone. Those are my favorite ones. Off what do you album. not like? Like all of them. I like them Essentially, all. almost. Yeah, almost. I I love Leave That Thing Alone. I love I love their when they do an instrumental. Uh, yeah. Nobody's Hero has always been one of my favorite songs off that album. Really? But animate and stick it out are are also I'm, really. I'm acting really great. so surprised. You are acting <laughs> so surprised. Is it is, there, is it just me? Because animate, stick it out, cut to the chase, just like in your face, badass. I mean, yeah. Like when they bring it down to the acoustic guitar intro of nobody's, nobody's hero, hero. Is it just kind of a? Is it a little deflating for you, or is that just me? No, That's just you. That, okay. I think I think that's just you. I think that's a great acoustic guitar part. I think yeah. that's a great opening. Yeah, and and, yeah. You, and you're keeping it like it's a song you would sing around the campfire, yeah. possibly. Oh, we yeah, totally but, need to do that someday. But then you fun. get the and you hold the chord. But he's nobody. He's nobody. So what what I'll do is I'll I'll cue it up, but I'll move nobody's hero up and play it first, and then go through the rest. And that way I don't have that. And Ooh, then everyday glory. Song. I used to kind of get to the end and just go, okay, maybe they maybe they could have done without this song. Maybe it's too. And then one day for some reason I I noticed the bridge, the lyrics on the bridge, and I'm thinking, how did I not notice this? It's one of the best things that anybody has ever written that bridge to, to everyday glory and right. so we'll get there in about 12 or 13 weeks won't we yeah see you, <laughs> stick see around, around subscribe Easter. see you for take it to the bridge or have you seen the confounded bridge take it to the bridge yeah and i yeah there's there's no songs there's not a song i don't like the it's just all of them just really yeah good. i mean yeah they're the and what's funny to me about this album is I really had kind of forgotten about it. And, you know, and since I hadn't really done the deep dive before and I'd forgotten about it. And then I went back and I listened to this and was like, my gosh, this is, this is a kick butt album. Yeah. Yeah. And I it mean, was it's... an incredible set list on the tour. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. Th- this. I feel like I. This, I wonder, uh, this I is, the is in probably my top four or five rush shows that I've seen. Be uh, the set list. Um, they had a lot of pyro, which you don't really think of rush. Yeah, maybe a little smoke bomb explosion here and there, lasers, the lights, the video, all that. Yeah. A lot of pyro in the. Uh, counterparts concert for stick it out double agent it was especially on the part where and across the holy fire it's like gene simmons farted on him it was nothing like that <laughs> okay i just you know, and i i, just, I hear yes Jay? I was just think, uh, you know, it was, it was such a great big hit. Also, in that movie, the the last song on the Everyday Hero, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Everyday Glory. We did it all for the Everyday Glory of Love. Is that what is it from the Karate Kids? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed for Jay right now. <laughs> oh, me too. I mean, I'm very happy the, to be here and have the, Jay the, with me. <laughs> the, the precious time that we all have on this earth. 
And Jay just wasted <laughs> so much. That. Just trying oh, to come God. up with that. Not only did he waste time, he wasted oxygen. Okay? Just mm. trying to. I mean, this world is I mean, running out of it. And I'm like, hey, man, screw it. It's like I'm taking so it. I'm precious taking little you with helium, me. photosynthesis. Mm, what? Photosynthesis. Um, I know people who don't like Double Agent. I don't I get don't it. I don't get that. That's a great I don't get song. It. That is a great jam. Man. Oh, wow. I, it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That that that's one of the songs from the album I was really hoping we were going to get again on the Test for Echo tour. But no. No, no. All right. Which song are you most excited about diving into and analyzing? Uh, to me, it's probably a toss up between, um, leave that thing alone. Yeah. No, it's an instrumental. Um, no, probably it's got between some super cool part. There's some super does, cool. Yeah, stuff. yeah, there is. I'm like, I'm I'll looking at it. Yeah, yeah but there's not a that. whole lot of analyzing to super kick ass musical playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. I that can't. might be shorter. If, if you don't do. understand how they do it, you can't analyze it. So mm. it's probably going to be between Cold Fire Cold and fires. probably Double Agent for me. Double Agent Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cold Fire. I think there's some there's some really interesting stuff there that's ahead of its time. Considering when this came out, there's a lot of stuff on this album ahead of its time. That 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 Neil wrote this in the '90s is just astounding. Can't wait. Cannot yeah. wait. Yeah. To get in. Very excited about the counterparts and all the stuff that goes with that mm -hmm. stuff. All right, look mm -hmm. at the notes. What do we have here? We did everything. Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Okay. Sometime soon, what? we're going to get into animate. The song, we're going to break it down. We're going to play our favorite parts. Yeah. We're going to tell you what it's all about. But we want to know what you think. Email us and let us know. 2112 at Every Rush Song. Catch us on the Soch at Every Rush Song. Tim, if you would, please. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> she did that at the beginning.